Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome with the Book of Suffering, Tom 1 and 2, a compilation of two EPs by the band Crytopsy. Today we're celebrating the 5th anniversary of the record, so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. I've already reviewed the Unspoken King and Self-Titled records, so go check those videos out. My story with this band is quite simple, my siblings would play me their music back in the year 2001-2002, I was like 4 or 5 years old back then. I actually enjoy that stuff, and I've been their fan ever since. The lineup here is Matt on the vocals, Oliver on the bass, Christian on the guitars, and Flo on the drums and backing vocals. The production is tight, it's clean but heavy, no loudness or no clipping, just the way I like it, I especially enjoy the sound of the drums here. Message is diverse, the songs are mostly about insanity, gore, death, mutilations, murders. Stuff like that, structure of the tracks is technical, which means we've got from 8 to 15 different segments and only like 2 or 3 do repeat, everything else just happens once in the entire song. The music could be described as tech death, technical death metal. The record starts with the one they kept and the first thing you're going to notice here is the drumming. Flo is a legendary drummer, I love his blast beats, the double bass work. It's just so fast, so intense, his playing is so good, the tempo changes, the energy, the power behind his playing. He's the star of this band for sure. Next we've got the bass work by Oliver, it's audible. The bass mostly follows the guitars but we have lots of moments here and there where the bassist goes off on his own. I truly enjoy that. Next we've got the guitar work by Christian and I truly enjoy the fast, angry, technical guitar riffs, the more chunkier, groovier parts as well. It fits the drums and I truly enjoy it. Last but not least we've got Matt and his vocals. I love his growling and screaming. It fits the music, it's full of power, it's intense, great stuff. Going back to this opening song, the one they kept, this one goes hard. I love the beginning, but my favorite part is the middle one the groovier stuff, but I actually enjoyed this song, it's not the best one here, but it's a great one, 8 out of 10, the knife, the head and what remains, the intro here is amazing, I love the more atmospheric approach here, but the song still remains vicious and angry as hell, this one is way better than the previous one, but it's not perfect, it's just fun to listen to, 9 out of 10, Halo Tain Glow, or however you pronounce that, this is my favorite song on Tome 1, I love the anger here and the vocals, the drumming, the guitar riffs, the bass work, I especially enjoy the second part of the song, you know that groovy breakdown, doo -doo 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 -doo. love that stuff so much, it's so memorable, I love replaying this song, it's a classic one. 10 out of 10, Framed by Blood, now this one is slightly weaker than the previous one, but it's the second best track from Tome 1. I love the intro, the slight melodies here and there, the aggression, the fast technical stuff. It's again a fun track, not perfect, but I dig it a lot. 9 out of 10. Now we're moving on to Tome 2, The Wretched Living. Now <laughs> this is so ridiculous, it's so fast, so angry. I love the blast beats here, the double bass work. The drummer is just so furious. And then we've got the vocals and the music. Again, the first part of the song I feel like is much more to my liking than the second one. But yeah, there are bits and pieces here that stand out from the rest of the track. 9 out of 10, Sire of Sin. Now this one has amazing intro with some cool bass lines. Then we move on to the standard Crytopsy Massacre stuff. So yeah, fast technical riffs, the drumming, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's a standard Crytopsy song, it's just great. 8 out of 10, Fear His Displeasure, now this one has some cool bass lines again, but I feel like it's the weakest song here from all of them. I still dig this one a lot, I do enjoy it, but it's just the same thing again, like it doesn't bring anything new to the table, but it's fun to listen to. 8 out of 10, and the final track, The Loss of the Flesh, now this is my favorite one from all of them, it's even better than Halo Tain Glow, I love the bass lines here, the guitar riffs, they remind me of nu metal, you know, the old school corn. Oh my god, the elitists are going to be so angry at me, but yeah, this song reminds me of corn, so that's why it's my favorite one. Love the guitar riffs, the 
dark, eerie atmosphere, the angry, fast technical stuff. I just love the vibe of this one. It goes so hard. It's a great ending song. There's not a second here that I wouldn't enjoy. 10 out of 10. To sum it all up, the consistency is stable, the flow is fitting, groupability. Yeah, it's a great compilation. Both of those EPs go so hard. If I had to choose just one, it would be Tome 1, because it's much more consistent and Halo Tain Glow slays. But Tome 2 has the best song, The Loss of the Flesh. That one is just so much fun to listen to. The eerie guitar riffs, the drumming, the vocals, just everything. But yeah, this is a very competent tech dev release. The highlights for me are The Loss of the Flesh, Halo Tain Glow, The Knife, Framed by Blood, and The Wretched Living. The only flaw I can find in this record is that the songs are a little bit too similar to each other and also it needs more groove. Like, I understand people want that brutal death metal all of the time, but my favorite songs here were the ones where the band would like slightly experiment, like add some cool bass lines without the guitars, some nice breakdowns, chunky groovy stuff, that's what I dig. So yeah, celebrate mercy by spinning this record today, it deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, in the description, I will see you in my other videos. Also consider becoming a member of my channel so I can make an album review and maybe do midi cover. That's all, bye!